It's really easy to use the permissions recorder inside of Dynamics NAV 2017. And with Dynamics NAV 2017, uh, there were some improvements to what the actual permissions recorder will record. So we're going to take a look at that today. So the first thing you want to do is type in uh, permissions in the search screen. So we can go to the permission set screen. We're going to click on new. And we're going to type a name for our new permission set. We're going to type a description. What we're going to capture is the create, edit, and delete for a vendor record. And once you've typed in the name and a description, uh, what you want to do is click on permissions. And the edit permissions window is going to open. We're going to click on add read permission to related tables. And this is uh, one of the improvements in 2017 is that it's going to capture all of the objects um, that are needed. Uh, any of the related tables, like lookup tables for country, for example, it's going to create, it's going to collect any of these different object types that we need access to and put that into the permission set for us. So we're going to click on actions. We're going to go over here to the far right. We're going to click on record permissions. It's going to ask you if you want to start. We're going to click yes. And then we're going to go over just like we were going to uh, search for vendors. And we'll bring up the vendors list. From here, we'll click on new to insert a vendor. And we'll want to add uh, any of the information that is required uh, to create a new vendor. So I'm going to add a name. I'm going to add an address. And then the next thing that I want to make sure, so I've captured the insert for the vendor. If you want to capture and give permissions to modify the vendor as well, what you'll need to do is go in and change one of the values in one of the fields that you've already uh, entered data into. So I'm just going to change uh, street to ST. And then to capture the delete, what you'll want to make sure is that at the end you also click on delete so that it captures that permission as well. The next thing we're going to do is open the edit permissions window. We're going to stop the recording and it's going to ask you if you want to add the recorded permissions. We're going to say yes. And we'll wait a second here and you'll notice um, it goes kind of automatically to the end of the list of permissions, but you'll notice the different object types here down the left side uh, that it included permissions uh, access to. So you can see that uh, you just need to execute permission on queries, uh, pages. So anything that, that uh, is linked to that vendor, create that process of creating the vendor or editing or deleting. And if we scroll all the way up to the top, what you'll notice here is uh, the access to the vendor table data because we modified the record and because we deleted the record, you'll notice that it captured those permissions as well. And if we look over at 2016, you can see the difference between um, what the permissions recorder in 2016 would capture versus what it captures in 2017. So here you can see um, I did the same process of creating a vendor, editing and deleting a vendor. So you can see that it captured all of my permissions here. But when it comes to the related tables, it's only capturing the related table data. Uh, permissions. It's not capturing all those other object types that you would need access to. So when we go back to 2017, you can see there's definitely a longer list of permissions uh, that, you, that are required um, and that this records and gives you access to. And that's how to use the permissions recorder inside of Dynamics NAV 2017.